Good afternoon. I am delighted to be here today to celebrate the athletes from our province who recently competed at the Special Olympics World Winter Games in Austria with Team Canada. A big hand of applause. Welcome, Floressa Harris, Justin Dodge, Sandra Smith, and Crystal Young. We are very excited to have you here today and offer you heartfelt congratulations on your medal wins. We are so incredibly proud of your accomplishments, and I'm sure everyone in the province shares in this pride. Personal and team accomplishments, such as those we are celebrating today, serve two purposes. They highlight the importance of our continued investment in sport and recreation, and they demonstrate what can be accomplished through hard work and determination. Sport creates connections, builds volunteer capacity, and provides opportunities for community members to come together. It also creates a foundation for a healthy and active lifestyle. Finding ways to increase activity levels is critical to building better physical health and creating a brighter future for children and youth throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you for being such positive role models. I would now like to invite Premier Dwight Ball to say a few words. Well, thank you, Sherry. Wow, what a team. Well, uh, let me begin by saying it's my pleasure to be here with you today to really giving the first opportunity to honor four amazing athletes, really four amazing individuals who, as you all know, those that have gathered there, they just recently competed and represented uh, Team Canada at the Special Olympics World Winter Games in Austria. So we have Justin Dodge of Grand Bank, Floressa Harris of Gander, Sandra Smith, who's got a neck full of medals over there from Carbonier, <laughs> and Crystal Young from uh, Harbor Grace. So together, these fine athletes proudly brought home a total of nine medals. Five gold, three silver, and one bronze. Wow. And as they know, and you know, because Justin just reminded me of some of the retweeting and reposting of the things that I was doing while they were away, we had thousands of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians all across our province that were following the successes in Austria. And as I just said, I was certainly one of them watching what was happening from far away. It's a major achievement when you think about when you get the opportunity to represent your country at a competition like the World Winter Games. But to come back home with nine medals, that is an outstanding accomplishment. And one that I can assure you as Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, we are all extremely proud of you. So to put what this achievement means, just to put that in context for a little bit here, 3,000 athletes from 107 nations who competed at the 2017 Special Olympics World Winter Games. This ex experience, I'm sure, will be life-changing and something that you will never forget. But getting to that level of sport takes an incredible amount of determination, it takes skill, it takes perseverance, and on behalf of the province, I want to commend these athletes for the hard work and the enthusiasm. And you can see it with the broad smiles on their face, the enthusiasm that they brought representing Canada, representing Newfoundland and Labrador as you brought it to the sporting event. As Sherry had said that sporting and recreation activities can have such a profound impact on the individuals who participate. They not only provide opportunities for engagement and healthy, active living, but they also build communities through social inclusion 
and a sense of connection. Let's not lose sight of what this social inclusion and a sense of connection means. So I thank you for being an inspiration for all of us, not just because you, your achievements in the athletic world, but inspiring us as individuals. Enjoy the spotlight that is being shown on you today. You deserve it. Day in, day in and day out, you must prepare yourself to compete at the highest levels. So I truly admire your determination and your strength. But also the support group that you had with you, your families, your friends, who also recognize the value of being physically active and living a healthy lifestyle. You're some of the best ambassadors when it comes to encouraging others to adopt healthier lifestyles. So we, as a province, we remain firmly committed to our vision of healthy, living Newfoundland and Labrador. The four of you are here today because you have already demonstrated your commitment to your chosen sports and an active lifestyle. You've shown that you are prepared to continue to put in the hours and the, the work that it takes to compete at this level. So with that kind of passion, that kind of dedication, there is no telling what levels of success, athletic or otherwise, will be in your futures. So I want also to extend a special thank you to all of you who are volunteers or coaches, to parents and to family members who as a group form an essential part of the success of these young men and women. Your efforts and your commitment have become a fundamental part of their accomplishments and a fundamental part of the communities that you live in. But also thank you to Special Olympics Newfoundland and Labrador who continue to provide opportunities to provide the levels of competition that is required for you to be successful. But I also want to wish the organization, I want to wish you well as you continue your planning and the delivery of the 2017 Special Olympic Provincial Games which will happen right here in St. John's on July 13th to the 16th. This event again will provide an opportunity for athletes all across our province to come together to participate at a provincial event. So again, I encourage you and I ask you to join us all in one big round of applause for Justin Dodge, Clarissa Harris, Sandra Smith, and Crystal Young. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm really pleased and very proud uh, to be here today to introduce Floressa Harris from uh, my district of Gander. Um, Floressa has been a member of the Special Olympics Gander Wings team since 2009. She's got a real athletic ability uh, and is a gifted runner, uh, she can leave me standing, uh, who excels in the sports of athletics and snowshoeing. Uh, in the summer, she also participates in the other uh, programs Gander Wings Club put on, such as bowling, boccia, and swimming. Uh, at the recent games in Austria, Floressa won two silver medals uh, for 200 meters uh, snowshoeing and four by 100 meters relay, uh, and a bronze for the 100 meter uh, snowshoeing race. Uh, we're all very proud of her back home, and I'd like to invite her to come and say a few words. Come on, Floressa. Good evening. My trip to Austria was wonderful. I got to see some of my old friends and meet new ones. Our hotel was great and the coaches took good care of us. I would like to thank Dr. Casey for traveling with me until I met my training coach in Ra training coach Rachel in Toronto. It was good also it was also nice to travel with Dr. Cheeseman. I would like to thank the House of Assemblies for having us. It was a great opportunity to represent our province and the team of Gander Special Olympics Gander Wings. Thank you.
Good afternoon. I, too, am delighted to be here and very honored to introduce Justin Dodge of Grand Bank. Justin is an active member of the Special Olympics Grand Bank Fortune Seahawks and avidly participates in both athletics and snowshoeing. He has competed in numerous competitions throughout the past decade and has the medals to prove his athletic abilities. When he was selected to Team Newfoundland and Labrador to compete at the 2016 Special Olympics Canada National Games, Justin was thrilled but also realized it would be hard work. Justin's hard work paid off when he was selected to Team Canada based on his exceptional performance. Justin brings home a gold medal in the 4x100 meter snowshoeing relay. Also, he narrowly missed making it to the podium on two other occasions, finishing fourth in the 100 meter and 200 meter snowshoeing events. I now ask Justin to come forward to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, honored guests, my name is Justin Dodge. I am honored to be here today after representing Canada and most importantly, representing our province of Newfoundland and Labrador so proudly at the 2017 World Winter Games in Ramsey, Austria with my fellow athletes, especially Crystal Young, Sandra Smith, and especially Florissa Harris. It was an honor to spend the 12 days with you all, and I have to thank Dr. Carmel Casey for her voice she gave me while I was in Austria, and also have to thank Dr. Neil Cheeseman for looking out to me on the way to Toronto and on the way back from Austria. I have to thank the government of Newfoundland for, for having us here today. It was a dream come true to participate at the World Games. And it was the experience of a lifetime that I'll never forget. Thank you all again. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Again, let's have a special round of applause. They're just amazing. Very happy to be here today and pleased to introduce Crystal Young of Harbor Grace and from the neighboring district of Carboneer, Miss Sandra Smith. Crystal has been a member of the Special Olympics Tricon Gentle Giants since 1999. The 2016 Special Olympics Canada National Games held in Corner Brook were Crystal's fourth time competing at the national level. She has previously competed in two summer games in track and field and at the 2012 Winter Games in snowshoeing. Sandra is also a member of the Special Olympians Tricon Gentle Giants and has been involved with Special Olympics for well over a decade. She is a multi-sport athlete who participates in athletics, snowshoeing and swimming. Sandra competed at the 2016 Special Olympics National Games in snowshoeing. Her incredible performance at these games led her to being selected to compete with Team Canada at the World Winter Games in Austria. Crystal brings home two gold medals for the 5K race and four, four by 400 meter race in snowshoeing, while Sandra brings home two gold medals in the four by 400 meter race and the 200 meter race, as well as a silver medal in the 400 meter snowshoeing race. Congratulations to you both, and I would ask Crystal and Sandra to come forward to say a few words. Good afternoon. Thank you, Premier Ball and members of the House of Assembly for your invitation here today. Sandra and myself would like to thank everyone here for your support and encouragement and for, uh, for this great honor. Our time in Austria with the World Games, we will never forget. We danced the streets of Vienna <laughs> and we ran the trails of beautiful Austria. Being a part of the energy and excitement of athletes from around the world was an amazing experience. Our theme, Herpy for the World, tells it all. With these gold medals, we would like to send a message. It's time to unite and change the game for inclusion. Use your voices to build an inclusive and unified world. With the strong, <laughs> with the strong support Sandra received 
from the town of Carbonair, and I received from my hometown of Harbour Grace, and with the government's invitation today. We are happy to say inclusion is happening in our beautiful province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you, Special Olympics Newfoundland and Labrador, for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this great organization. Our home club, Tricon Gentle Joints, you are the greatest. It's, it is a privilege to say Sandra and myself are a part of this amazing group of athletes, coaches, and volunteers. Special Olympics Canada, thank you for selecting us to be a part of, of this international world event. We will forever remember Special Olympics Winter World Games Austria 2017. Thank you. Thank you all for attending and supporting Special Olympics Newfoundland and Labrador. We could not have four better ambassadors than the people you see sitting there. And one of the hardest things I do in my role as chair of Special Olympics is have to follow people like these in a speaking engagement. Thank you guys, you're fantastic. They are truly the best representatives. Crystal, Floressa, Justin, and Sandra won nine medals at the World Games, and they were part of a team that won 100 and f of 104 Canadian athletes in Austria that won 117 medals. So when you think about Newfoundland and our piece of that victory, we certainly had great representation from these athletes. Thank you. As with any athlete in any sport, our Special Olympians put in long hours of training week after week. And this is all possible due to the continued support of our federal and provincial governments, the generous Newfoundland and Labrador business community, and the thousands of individual Newfoundland and Labradorians who support us with their time, their talent, and their treasure. Our local clubs work tirelessly to raise funds to support our almost 700 athletes. And I want to thank you very much for helping us help our athletes be the best that they can be. We're here today to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of these four Olympians today and their success on the world stage. But I want to mention that Special Olympics is not just about games. We are also committed to our grassroots program, which take place in every day of the week and touch more than a hundred different communities in our province. Over the last five years, Special Olympics Newfoundland and Labrador has been very focused on growth, growing our clubs, growing the number of communities we reach, growing our coaches and volunteers, but most importantly, growing the number of amazing athletes we support. And boy, have we grown. We now have over 687 athletes in 16 community clubs, and as I said, they serve more than 100 communities across our province, from Upper Gullies to Marystown to Cornerbrook to Goose Bay, and we now have new clubs in Placentia and recently Labrador West. That's a 47% growth in athletes, and just as importantly, a 60% growth we've seen in volunteers. This summer, we will host our Provincial Summer Games, July 16th, 13th to 16th in the metro region, and more than 600 Newfoundland and Labradorian Special Olympics athletes will come to compete. They will reach their goals, set their best times, win medals, but just as importantly, show themselves and all of us what they can achieve. This is all due to your support. And I want to leave you with a quote from one of our athlete representatives, Mark Peddle. I've heard him speak several times, and he said something in his speech that really has stuck with me. He said, thank you for believing in me. And I want to thank you for believing in us. Thank you. <laughs>